Hi teens! Welcome to our online activity and today we will be learning how to make a pop-up basket. So our activity is related to our lesson today. Are you ready? So let's get started. So the first thing that I want you to do is I want you to grab your A4 white paper. So I hope that you have your A4 white paper at home. So any spare papers you have, you may use it. So just be resourceful and creative at the same time. So I want you to position your paper like this. So fold it this way. Fold it carefully and properly. Fold it into half. Alright, so I want you to grab your pencil with you. On the folded part of your paper, I want you to draw at the middle. I want you to draw two lines, vertical lines, around two inches in length. Okay, so if you have your ruler at home, you may use it. So in my case, I will not be using ruler because I can manage, but for you, I want you to use ruler. So at the left side, I want you to draw one vertical line with two inches in length also at the right side okay so these two lines should be at the middle lower part of your paper on the folded part okay and then grab your scissors and cut it so in cutting i want you to be careful and then open your paper so your paper should look like this I want you to fold the ends inside part okay since it's a pop-up part work so let's do this properly and carefully so this part should be done properly okay so fold it properly fix it at the same time all right so this time I want you to grab another A4 white paper and your pencil with you. So I want you to fold it into half, same thing as what we did a while ago. Okay, so fold it this way. And the first thing that we will draw is the basket. So, so at the middle of your paper I want you to draw horizontal line with uh, 4 inches in length okay 4 to 5 inches in length so vertical line and then I want you to draw curve line by connecting both ends alright so here we are drawing a basket so I want you to follow carefully observe proper spacing and sizing of your drawing so I want you also to pause the video so that you can catch up at the same time and then after that on top of your drawing we will draw another curve line for the handle of your basket okay so that is our first curve line and then after that I want you to draw another curve line we'll just simply double your first curve line okay and then after that it's time for us to add details on your basket so here I want you to be more creative I want you to use your skills in drawing so you may do whatever designs or details that you want for your basket okay so you may color any colors you like so you may use as well at the same time your favorite colors here so just be more artistic okay i know that you are more artistic than me so it's time for you to show your creativity 
Right, so this is now your basket looks like after adding details on it. So the next thing that we will be doing is I want you to go to the other side of your paper. I want you to unfold it and this time let's draw five breads and two fishes. So for the bread, I want you to draw a stretched out oval shape, okay? So this is our basic shape for the bread. And then after that, I want you to draw this detail on your bread okay so simply like this so we will be needing five breads for your pop-up basket so just repeat the drawing and make it into five pieces all right so we're done with our breads and next let's draw two fishes so for the fish, I want you to be creative. At the same time, I want you to use your imagination. So whatever uh, design for your fish is acceptable, okay? So here I'm starting to draw the first one. So again, we will be needing two fishes as what we have learned a while ago. So it should be five loaves or five breads and two fishes. All right, so this is now your breads and fishes looks like after doing the details and this time let's start coloring your drawings. All right, we're done with coloring. So this time I want you to prepare your scissors for cutting. So this is now your artwork looks like after doing the cutting part. So this time, I want you to grab your glue and let's start sticking them in the basket, okay? So I want you to arrange it first before sticking them inside the basket, okay? So make sure that your fishes and your breads are visible after sticking them in your basket all right so this is now your artwork looks like after sticking them together this time i want you to grab your first a4 white paper that we had a while ago and on the upper part i want you to add details okay so here i want you to apply your creativity whatever details that you like on this part you are allowed to do so okay so here i'm drawing grasses since grasses were mentioned in our discussion where the story happened so you may do the same thing and at the same time you may do whatever you want to add on this part okay just be more creative and artistic at the same time all right, so we're almost done with the background of our pop-up basket. So now I want you to grab your basket that we did a while ago and try to fix and check if it's fitting properly. On the lower part of your paper, so here we will be writing a caption about your artwork. But before that, let's add some colors here or let's take some colored papers to make it more attractive and creative at the same time. So here, I will be sticking red colored paper. So here, you may draw anything that you want to draw or you may stick any colored papers that you like. So in sticking, I want you to be careful and in adding glue, I want you to add enough glue at the same time. And I want you to observe neatness on your artwork to make it, you know, um, pleasing and attractive at the same time. And then after that, I want you to cut the overlapping extra paper on your artwork. So in cutting, I want you to be extra careful. All right. 
So to make it more attractive and creative, let's add another color, another layer where we can write the caption for our pop-up basket. Alright, so let's um, do some details or designs on this part. You may do the same thing as well or you may do your own designs for this. All right, so now let's grab our glue and let's stick it. All right, so this is now your artwork looks like after adding some details on this part. So now we are ready to add captions. So here you may um, write any verses that you want related to our topic for today. So as you can see, I'm starting writing the caption and I will be writing about Jesus feeds the 5,000. So since this is our topic, so I will be writing Jesus feeds the 5,000 over this part. So again, you may write the verse here, our memory verse or you may copy the same caption. So again, Jesus feeds the 5,000. So this is one of the miracles that God did before. And even up to this day, our God is still doing more and more miracles in our lives. Right, so we're almost done. So now it's time to stick your basket. All right, to to make it, you know, pop up. So I want you to grab your glue and on this part, I want you to add glue. So this is where the basket should be put, okay? So I want you to stick it at the center of your paper all right so we are done with our pop-up basket about Jesus feeds the 5,000 so I hope you got it right and enjoyed at the same time take care everyone and God bless us all